Hey there guys, Zach here from WinBeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 10565. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 10547. So jumping straight in, the first noteworthy changes are with title bars. Although this isn't enabled by default, you can now have uh, colour title bars. Now this was in previous Threshold 2 builds, but they've now updated the UI slightly to make it a little more pleasing. As you can see up here, the title bar text is now white finally, meaning you can have dark title bars and your windows will still look normal, which is absolutely fantastic. Now these title bars aren't applied throughout the entire operating system, not yet at least. As you see up here in the settings app, it doesn't appear to be applied, but on other apps such as File Explorer and indeed the messaging, messaging app here, it is applied, which is fairly nice. Speaking of the messaging app, this is a new app in this build. This was in the previous build as well, so we have actually had a go at it already. But if you haven't seen that video, this is the messaging app. It allows for Skype messaging and hopefully at some point SMS messaging. So if you have a Windows phone, I can text message somebody on my Windows phone with this app on the desktop. That isn't actually in this build, unfortunately, but it's good to see Skype integration here anyway. So this is that app, pretty, base, pretty simple and pretty basic. We're not going to dive too much into it. Now, another thing, this is a clean install. I've noticed that this app here, the Sway app, is installed by default. I didn't install this. This was just there on the start screen, on the start menu. Um, so yes, this allows you to create some cool Sways, I imagine. If you don't know what Sway is, Google search it. It's, or sorry, Bing it. It's a pretty cool app. So yeah, so pretty great, pretty good for production. Absolutely fantastic. Microsoft Edge has a couple of improvements. Firstly, if you highlight a tab up here, you'll see that the actual web page is uh, revealed in a preview and clicking on it will actually launch the web page. The, uh, the make a web note icon has changed slightly. And if we go into settings here, you can see sync your deck content. This is a new option here. So you can now enable or disable edge syncing, which is really quite fantastic. Of course, you've got your light and dark modes here as per usual, which work like you expect. Uh, so what else is doing? Cortana has received some updates, but I, I don't actually use notes on here. So she can now read notes apparently, but I don't actually use them, so I can't demo them. But that's something to look forward to. And last but not least, one of the biggest changes, or I say biggest, one of the, it's, it's an under the hood change that not many people will know about but it's still good that it's finally here. You can now activate Windows 10 with your Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 8.1 product key. I installed, I activated this build with a Windows 8 product key, although it says it's activated with digital entitlement. Uh, I believe it should say activated with Windows 8 product key or something like that. Either way, I used a Windows 8 product key to install and activate this build, which uh, well, is great. It's, this is, should have been the way it works from the start. But now it finally operates like this. It's it's uh, finally here, so which is pretty great. So that's good. Uh, so yes, that's pretty much it, I believe. There's not much else new in this build. Not much else worth of note. Let's find my device here, which I don't think I pointed out last time. It doesn't work. I'm clicking on it, nothing's happening. I'm guessing that's more for the phone. But that's there, which is fantastic. Is there anything else? If we go into about. Version here. Here's an interesting thing as well. Uh, Windows 10 Pro had a version 5. 1511, which is found on the mobile versions as well, I believe. So if we actually go into Winver here, you'll see instead of saying version 10, version NT10, it's version 1511, which is interesting. OS build 10.5.6.5.0. I'm not sure if they're going to keep this for the desktop because this is kind of how uh, the mobile builds. Uh, what was I'm looking for? This is how the mobile bills display themselves. Version 15.11.10.565.0. Uh, so yeah, maybe they're going to keep this. It'd be very interesting to see what they do with that. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.